I was like, <gasps> sea turtle! And everybody looked, oh my gosh, it was so big. Today's the day we've been very excited about for a very, very long time. Today is the day we're going to... The Great Barrier Reef. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're actually doing it. I feel like you always hear about it, you know, like growing up, like, oh my gosh, it's so big. Mm -hmm. People don't actually go there though because it's so far away from home. But we're actually doing it today. I am so excited. We are currently in Cairns and we are about to go get on Coral Sea Dreaming Dive and Sail. They're gonna take us, it's a small sailboat. It's supposed to be super, super nice and like everything is super small to keep the group numbers down. Yes, and it's an overnight trip. So we have our bags packed and we are heading there now. company to go with. A lot of companies have really big boats. They have like 36 to 40 people on board. It's kind of madness. So we chose a smaller group to get a more intimate experience of the Great Barrier Reef. So we're not like surrounded by people and I think we chose right. All right, so the seas are really calm right now and there's no wind, but apparently after we get out of the Australian border, like where all the mountains are, it's gonna get really, really crazy with wind. So we're gonna stay in an inlet tonight and hopefully it won't be too too wavy because I get seasickness really easily. But the wind's gonna be intense, so I don't know how much we can talk outside. So enjoy this view while we have it. So 
just been dropped off by the captain on the island of McKay and this is like I think it's like a protected wildlife habitat for birds because there's so many birds here anyway the water is so blue we saw a sea turtle on the way over here from the boat I was like oh, sea turtle and everybody looked oh my gosh it was so big, it was so big, but I got like scared away. So it went underneath the water, but it was so big. I really hope we see one on our dive next time. It's so cool. And the best part is this island is made of sand. It's a brand new island. The sand is made from parrotfish eating coral and pooping it out. And then it just made this gigantic island of poop. So we just got back from our second dive. It was so good. The visibility wasn't like super duper clear, but we saw a huge stingray. Like the tail on the back of it was at least as long as Zach is tall. Like at least six feet. It's cr it, was, it was crazy. Like it was actually really kind of like frightening knowing that it's down there. We're gonna get ready to go on a night dive and I'm kind of really nervous. So to get us ready for our night dive tonight, they prepared us a marvelous dinner, a rice bowl with chicken and Asian stir fry. So good. Okay, and now we've just been shown to our room. It is very small, but we are on a very small boat. So I think we were expecting this type of accommodation. It is tiny, but we have a private room, which is great. today they're gonna to be amazing I don't know how much we're gonna be able to vlog because it's really windy outside yeah we gotta wake and dive wake and dive
we made it all the way back to the harbor of Cairns. I'm so sad that this trip is over, but I guess it's time for us to leave the boat. It's been an amazing experience. You told us that we saw one reef of yeah. like 2,000. The weather so. wasn't like perfect, mm -hmm. so we could only really go to one place that the weather was okay to be at. So we were a little limited this time, but I think we definitely have to come back. We definitely have to come back. Yeah. Reef is awesome. Yeah.